when we went through and we looked at purchasing the building and then we finally got the building, we got questions from everybody. What are you going to do with it? You know, what's going to happen with the Madonna? What's going to happen with the outside of the building? Maybe a concept is we could blend the old with the new. And we really like the look of Howard Street. And that's where you have the Bennett block, you have the, all these restaurants. And it was really cool with all these brick buildings. Well, that side of the M building is all the historic side and the historic brick. So we decided to keep that side, repoint it, renovate it, and it really adds to that street on Howard. And then the rest of the building was all that pink composite. I know there was a lot of it because we hauled out like a million pounds of it. And actually at the end of the day, we were able to open up the floors, put bigger windows in there and blend the old look and the historic look on Howard with the new look for the rest of the side. The building, it consists of a, it was 11 floors, now it's 10 floors. So as you know, if you remember the old building, you'd walk in the mezzanine level and you could jump and almost hit your head on that ceiling. Well, we took all that out, we got rid of that. We have uh, 22 foot high first floor ceilings. The building's roughly about 300,000 square feet, all told and 114 residential units, and those average about 1,100 square feet each. And as part of that, the building also has on each floor, it has its own amenity. So we have a workout facility on the third floor, a yoga studio on the fourth floor. It just goes up, a game room, a uh, library, a business center. But one of the most unique features about the building is the rooftop deck. We have over 5,200 square feet of a rooftop deck that's fully furnished, barbecues up there, plenty of area. We've had a lot of events and they've been very successful. It's a great feature for downtown. Now Walker Construction was great to work with throughout this process. It was a quick build and so there's only a limited amount of companies that can do that. So from start to finish we basically got this uh, building under contract and started the process and two years were completed. Now for a building this size and that scope that's really a challenging timeline and they were able to address the concerns we would have during construction and work with the city to get everything done and permitted quickly. We never had a situation where we were waiting around for them to get the work done or to make a decision on how to get work done. They were great to work with in the process and they hit all their time frames and they really kept me informed about what was going on. And when we had issues that we had to address, we worked really well together and was able to address them and figure out good solutions. I've been involved in a lot of projects, um, whether this size, smaller or bigger, and I can say this is the smoothest project that has ever gone. And it was a team effort. Everybody recognized that this is important to Spokane and it needed to be done, and it got done. And the result speaks for itself. You can tell when a project has gone well because you see the result. 